YouTube, welcome to another edition of Lori's Thrifty Kitchen Pantry. If you are new, welcome. I am so happy to have you here. Uh, if you like what you see, hit that subscription button along with the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I put new videos out. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm always happy to have you here. So today I'm getting a little hungry, so I'm going to do another one of my home chef meals. Uh, first, I want to say a huge thank you to Carmela Barone, who went back and watched my unboxing video and informed me that I did indeed have the brisket for the grandma's brown ketchup and brown sugar brisket. So I pulled everything out of my freezer and I found it. It was actually, um, had fallen back behind some frozen TV dinners that I had in my freezer. So that's why I didn't see it. So thank you, Carmela, for doing that for me. I really appreciate it. So yeah, this, this is a is a great company. I've really enjoyed everything I've eaten so far. I am getting at least two meals, sometimes three out of each each meal. So this this box cost me eighty dollars, which really ended up costing me forty because I like I said I get at least two meals out of one box so it, it really is just costing me forty dollars because I'm dividing that between two meals each time I fix something so yeah today I'm gonna do the grandma's brown ketchup and brown sugar brisket so here is the brisket that goes with that and I have the spinach, which still looks pretty good, considering it's been several days since I played, got my order. It's been, let's see, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. it's been six days, so, so the spinach still looks, looks okay. And that is for spinach and cheese mashed potatoes so here's the potatoes so actually you cook cook the spinach first and then you mix it in with the mashed potatoes along with the sour cream and the cheese and then you take the brisket and you mix the brisket with the tomato puree, the barbecue sauce, the and the ketchup, and mix it all together and put it in the baking tray. And then you top it with the brown sugar topping and crispy jalapenos. So that's going to be my meal for today. Plus, yesterday I did the chicken. I wasn't really feeling like a lot of heavy veggies. So I just, I ate just the chicken. But it came with a carrot and a zucchini. So I think I'm going to fix that to go along with the brisket for today. I think, think that would be really good. And oh, and there's garlic in the bag. I didn't, didn't, see, didn't see the garlic. So um, yeah, that's going to be my meal for today. I think it's going to be pretty good. So I'm going to get the veggies washed peeled and cut and then I'll get the spinach cooking and mix them with the mashed potatoes 
and then get the brisket mixed up and I will bring you back when this meal is all put together. Oh well, guys, I am about halfway through the cooking process for my dinner. I just have to tell y'all, my house smells so good right now. I decided to fix the carrots and zucchini in the air fryer along with the chopped garlic. It, it, it's, the smell is absolutely amazing. I did have to peel and de-seed the zucchini because of the IBS that I deal with. Uh, I, I could just could not eat seeds and peeling on top of eating carrots. That just would not have been good. But man, oh man, I am getting really excited about this meal. I decided I'm just going to microwave the potatoes and spinach and brisket because the brisket is already cooked you're you're just pretty much heating it up so if, i think this is going to be really good so i'll bring you back when everything's done and we are done oh my goodness guys look at this plate this is home chef's grandma's ketchup and brown sugar brisket over cheesy mashed potatoes that has sour cream and cream cheese and cheddar cheese in it and then this is the the veggie that i fixed because i had it left over from yesterday so i just did some carrots and zucchini and garlic in the air fryer and the potatoes and the brisket is in the microwave oh my goodness y'all my house smells incredible and again the, I got two meals from the brisket and potatoes I just plated my meal for today and left half of it in the microwave tray so I I could just heat it up but oh my gosh y'all look at that look at how pretty pretty this plate looks i am so excited all right let me spin you around and we will give this a taste because i can't wait any longer <laughs> all right i got my fork i got my plate of yummy looking food let's give this a whirl Oh my goodness, I am so excited for this. Let's see if I can find a small piece of brisket. There we go, you can see the spinach and the mashed potatoes, along with the cheddar cheese. The, of course, the sour cream and cream cheese is mixed in, but look at that bite. Oh my goodness. Here we go. I am so excited. Mm. Oh my word. That brisket is so tender and so easy to chew and the potatoes are absolutely amazing you can tell these are real mashed potatoes but oh man i'm going in again mm. Mm -hmm. The barbecue is so good. Mm. It's amazing. 
And here is a carrot. It's nicely roasted in the air fryer. That is so sweet. I don't eat carrots very often. But I'm going to enjoy them today. They are so good. And bite of the zucchini. It's good, but I think I like the carrots just a little bit better. Mm. All right, drop the fork. Here comes the happy dance. Woo! That meal is going to be enjoyed twice. I cannot believe how good that is. I was worried about the brisket being tough because of microwaving it, but it is not. It is so good. And real mashed potatoes. I do instant when I cook for myself, but it is just so nice to have real mashed potatoes. So this meal gets two thumbs up. I would give it a third if I had a third thumb. All right, that concludes this edition of Lori's Thrifty Kitchen Pantry. Thank you so much for being here today. I am so impressed so far with Home Chef. They are not sponsoring these videos. They did not give me a discount. They did not give me anything for free. I paid full price on my own. It is just really good. And um, I tried another meal delivery service years ago but this the veggies all spoiled before i could fix everything and this seems like it stayed nice and fresh for a long time i still have a lemon left to use from last last night's meal um i may just squeeze it in some water and some iced tea and use it that way but yeah, I am really happy with this company. I think I'm going to order from them again. I'm getting double meals out of each dinner. So it's stretching a lot further. And I still have, I think, two or three more things to fix yet. So yeah, I'm, I'm really glad I tried this company out. So far they seem to be pretty good. So I hope you are all having a blessed week. Be safe, be happy, be blessed, and I will see you all on the next video. Bye!